Find the remaining zeros of a fourth degree polynomial with real coefficients that has zeros negative 1, 4, and negative 2 minus i. Construct a polynomial with these zeros. The first step is to find the remaining zeros. Our zeros are negative 1, 4, negative 2 minus i, and since we have real coefficients if negative 2 minus i is 0 negative 2 plus i is also a 0. The next step is to construct a polynomial with these zeros so we will want to turn these zeros into factors of the function and to turn these zeros into factors we will use the formula x minus R, with R being each one of these zeros. So the first factor is x minus a negative 1 which is plus 1. x minus 4 is the second one. The third one is x minus negative 2 minus i. third one is x minus a negative 2 plus i. Now that we have these in factor form, let's multiply these out. We get x squared, so that was x times x, we get x negative 4x plus a positive x minus 4 clean these up a bit we get x two negatives is a positive so x plus 2 two negatives is a positive so we get plus i and the next one we get x two negatives is a positive so it's x plus two and a negative and a positive is a negative so it is minus i now that we got these cleaned up a bit let's factor these two out so we have if you notice we have x plus 2 and the x plus 2 we can bring these out individually all we have left is a plus i and a negative i which is negative i squared So if we combine these like terms, we have x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now, we can multiply these two, and we get x squared plus 2x and plus another 2x plus 4. Now this complex 0 here we can say it is plus 1 because when you multiply complex zeros you leave out the imaginary part and take in the real part. The real part is a 1. You can't see it but there's a 1 in front of the i and a negative 1 squared is plus 1. So now we have x squared minus 3x minus 4. Now we can multiply these out first. We'll add this 1 into this one. So x squared plus 4x. 4 plus 1 
five and x squared. We'll bring this one back down. Three x minus four. Now we'll multiply these two out. We have x four x squared plus four x is a plus four x cubed x squared times <clears throat> five is positive five x squared now we go negative three x times x squared is a negative three x cubed a negative three x times 4x is a negative 12x squared. Negative 3x times 5 is negative 15x. Now let's multiply with 4. Negative 4 times x squared is negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times a positive 4x is negative 16x. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. All we have to do now is add like terms. So we have x to the 4th. It's the only one. We can cross that out. We have a positive 4x cubed and a negative 3x cubed, which leaves us with just one positive cube. We can cross those out. Now we have a 5x squared, and we have a negative 12x squared, and we have a negative 4x squared. So 5x squared and a negative 12x squared is negative 7 x squared and then another 4x squared is negative 11x squared. We can cross those out. Now we have a negative 15x and a negative 16x which is negative 31x we can cross those out and what we have left is minus 20. Now we have our fourth degree polynomial.